Hello lovely people, this is Romdi, and a few months back, or a, nearly a year now back, I made a video, uh, Caution with Maps.me or Maps with Me, where I said that the app, well, kind of uploads data to the open street map, and you should be really careful when using it, because, yeah, that's not good if your personal data ends up on the open street map. Now, I kind of didn't catch a certain feature when I made the video, but I don't think a lot of people caught this feature because last summer it was really dumping a lot of nonsense onto the open street map and a few of the users that I then contacted were like, yeah, we are using this app maps.me, it uploads to the open street map, really? Didn't know that. So then I made this video saying I'm going to believe that now. Um, they said, well, you know, there is a bookmark feature in the app, which can be used if you don't want to uh, upload something to the open street map. <laughs> which I must say, for the things people sometimes uploaded there, wouldn't help, because they just added new places that weren't on the map and then used them like Coffee with Aunt uh, Augusta or something like that. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you now, to clarify a few things, um, how you can use the app without uploading some nonsense to the open street map. So I'm open here uh, in Florida stuff at, at, at the moment around the train station. I have got the offline map downloaded for Vienna. And basically, if you want a place to kind of show up to you, you, sh you shouldn't change its name. So because um, I, ha I had a case where someone seemingly tapped a bus station and just changed the name to Hero Line 29A. And I was like, no, please don't do that. So this is also a reason why I made the video to to just say, don't change any details that are correct here. Even if your Aunt Augusta is living at a bus station, don't change the name of the bus station to Aunt Augusta, please. Because the name is possibly fluid stuff or something. So what do you do if you have a place and you want to find it again. Now, as I said, please don't change the names because as soon as you log in, it will upload to the open street map. Now, if it's within Vienna, I, I will see it. I will possibly revert the change, but it takes time. Uh, and yeah, that's not so good. So if you say, all right, I need to get to this bus station here because here's where the 29A departs, then you can tap this thing once and then you can on the bottom, go on save. No, now for me, it's the German version. It's a speichern, but it's the same as save. So down here, this star, this star is going to say save. And then when you tap it, it will say remove or delete or something. This is, this is just for the pin you have just now set. So you can add a bookmark. This is how this feature is called. It's not really um, described here, but... Um, a bookmark and then you will have this place have this pin which will definitely stick out on the map now on my iphone screen it doesn't look that prominent but on the recording you definitely can see there's the bookmark and there you go and you have saved this place and as soon as you no longer need it you tap it again and you go on re remove down there on the star and it will remove now there's also a documentation online for the app, which I will link in the description below, so that you can actually find your way through it. Now, there used to be, at least when I last tested the app about a year ago, there used to be um, a, a kind of thing with the render that if there was a whole um, building tagged as something, I'm trying to find my, my former primary school here. All right, that, 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 that is not tagged as the whole, is it? Nope. But if there was a building that was tagged as something um, as a whole, then it wouldn't work. Then you wouldn't even see it. And that was why why people added some duplicates to the open street map. For example, I think a museum near to Schönbrunn was added three times because it was mapped on the building, but that seemingly did, didn't show up on maps.me, so someone else added a, a node and at the same time 
another user also added a note there, so I had to kind of look up the museum and remove all of that double. But here, for example, we have a building that is mapped as the Traction Floristov from the Bundesbahn. And, well, you can now tap the building and also save this one as a uh, favorite in the bookmark. So basically, that has been fixed now, as it seems. And, yeah. Now... Now, if uh, a place is wrong or not there, you can still fix it. So let's say that this fast food restaurant has got a name. You can go on edit place or whatever it will say here in your la language. And then you, you can edit the name. Now, one thing I don't really think is that good, but still not that bad, is that if you add a name... It will add the name with the tag in the language that you've added it. So name colon de as a tag will be added if you type in the German name. If, if you type in the English name, it will name dot en the thing. Which I think is good for having multiple languages. But if only one name gets added, it kind of puts it into the normal name tag and into the German or English name tag. Which is a bit confusing possibly for the people on the open street map, but for you it should just be fine. So you can still edit places. You will have to log in and then uh, the cha changes will be uploaded to the open street map. Now I will just now demonstrate this. So so ed so editing for example this station. I can go on edit place mm -hmm. and I can say that the English name is this and then when I go on save it will ask me do you want to send this to all users and so obviously um, you can as far as I know go on cancel here and your changes will still be on your map so if I now go on cancel here will this stay on the map no it won't it actually won't you need to go back and then your change will stay will not be there. So you actually, if you make a change like this, you have to send it to the open street map. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you will go on send and then it will ask you to log in. Now I'm actually going to log in with my open street map credentials and just pause the recording for a, a tiny bit. And so what has happened now after I logged in is that your changes were saved and if you now go on edit the place you will see at the English one it says what it uh, said after I changed it. Now what happened now and I'm going to switch to another app I have got which is a OpenStreetMap editor for the iPhone and if I now load this up I'm actually also quite near to that station so that's good. Um, you will see that if I now go to the station which is up here and look at its name I think it was this note yes it now shows name double point en Shuttleworth Street which is obviously uh, not really completely correct so I if if that edit would have come by another open street map user then I would have seen it in a in the last edits and I would go like Dum, that's wrong and here I would go like revert of maps dot me edit and and here I put a brackets test in because I just tested it for you guys so yeah um you can change things here but you will have to then log in and you do not log in to Maps.me, but you log into the open street map. You should be really aware of that. And if a place is missing, now with the thing that also here, uh, whole houses that are mapped can be uh, saved. Uh, that should no longer happen that you actually map a duplicate. But if you say that, I don't know, somewhere here is actually a gym and it's not mapped, then you can actually add that to the map. Now on one hand, hang on, you can see your bookmark list if you look here. So at this logo down here, 
you can you can look at your bookmark list and also remove bookmarks and and toggle if they are visible on the map or not but yeah if you want to add a place which is not yet on on the map you just tap a bit longer onto the position where you want to add it then go on add a place to the map or and then you can just say yeah it's here and then you go on the top on finish or continue or whatever it it says here and then you can choose the category now please choose the correct ca category for the entrance to a bank if the bank is already mapped and you want to map the entrance you're not going to map another bank node you will need an entrance node which i fear is not even in here is it that would be eingang doesn't seem to be in here yeah so you won't be able to map things with like entrances so if you have an an iPhone and actually want to contribute to the open speed map you will need an internet connection for that so kind of maps.me is then not completely the right thing there but you should download a uh, go map the app that I just showed show, 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 show you there so that's the better um, e editing app for the open speed map but, but with ma but with maps.me you have a pretty long list of of common things you might want to add to the open stream map. So if you say, yeah, there um, is a is an electronics store here, and it is Saturn. Now with Sa Saturn, I would a actually say that that's the operator, in a kind of sense. But you could also say the the name is Saturn, if you write it co correctly and then you can say it's in one of those streets where you wanted to map it and the and the number and the place and everything else and then you can go on save and it will have saved it and also sent it to the open street map now if you go like oh that's wrong that's actually not here then you can uh, edit the place and delete it and also that should be sent over to the open street map pretty instantly i hope yeah just to be sure i'm going to edit this delete this and save this and basically as i'm now logged in it should automatically be sent to the open street map and i'm going to see those changes uh hopefully on the open street map quite soon so i hope to add and as you might have noticed, even though I had deleted the English tag from this node in the open street map, in your offline map, it was still there. So basically what you can do if it really needs to be. And if you say, here lives my aunt Augusta and I don't just want to bookmark it and then have to bookmark, tell me. But I actually want to have Aunt Aug Augusta saying here. Then you can rename the node, then go online onto the open street map, delete your changes. So change everything back to what it was and then just have it in the offline map. So if you really think like I, I want to have that, you could do that. But I would discourage you from changing anything that is correct because for example th those are the numbers of the houses please don't change that to oh there are rats in the cellar or something like that <laughs> so yeah but yeah if you want to improve the map and add something that is not yet there you are obviously uh, invited to make the map better um, now for example here if you say well here's a platform yeah? you see the platform just faintly I'm not really able to show you this because I don't have that 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 it shows up. But beside this node here, you can faintly see the platforms. But you might think, oh, they are not mapped. There is nothing I can tap. So you will so you will add the platform node. Please don't do that. That's not good. I mean, it shows up here. You see, it shows public transport platforms. So it shows you where you have tapped. There actually is something. But some people would then still add it as a duplicate so please make sure that you don't do this uh, and also the logo for the 
for the public transport sh shelter looks a bit odd, I must say. <laughs> that looks like a picnic table to me, but all right. Um, yeah. So be careful when using the map still, but yeah, you can add things to your uh, bookmark list and you don't have to change names to things which are actually correct and be and be careful with such with such notes because I had someone delete the platform note because I said like oh that's a duplicate of that bus stop no it this this is the platform this is the bus stop on maps.me it looks the same but it's tagged differently on the open street map one is public transport platform and the other one is public transport bus stop as far as I'm aware maybe I tagged this wrong but it should be like like that and so please um yeah don't delete a place because it looks like a duplicate because it especially with the public transport things it might not be because all the public transport in Vienna is mapped correctly so if you are in Vienna and you're like oh I need to add this bus station or delete this one ah uh, no you don't if it needs to be deleted, I would already have done it, in the, so then you just need to delete and read and re-download your map here, which you can do in the download cards folder, so you could just delete this and re-download it as soon as you have an internet con connection, so yeah. So in Vienna you won't need to delete anything. So yeah, you can use it, but... You still should not change data that is already there if it's not wrong. So if you have a bus stop that is called Kagran, don't change it to I need to get on the bus here. Because no, that's that's not the name. That is literally not, not the name of it. So then please just bookmark it like this. Then, then you can go to your bookmark list and see it here. And yeah, hopefully remember why you bookmark it. Yeah, that is the follow-up video to caution with maps of me. You can use the bookmark feature instead of just creating new nodes, which I think you can also just tap somewhere and then use the bookmark feature. Exactly, so you don't have to add a place. You just tap on, on the map slightly longer and add a bookmark. There you go. It will then say that that is an unknown place, but yeah, you'll know what it is. Hope hopefully. And can you edit the name? You can't you don't seem to be able to edit the name. So yeah, that's a thing that doesn't work, but please don't add a name as in a adding a place because that might be wrong or a personal data you do not want on the open street map. Yeah. Thanks for watching and bye bye.